Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Happy Virgo season to you guys. So exciting, right? Happy birthday to all my Virgos out there who are celebrating. All right. All right. Um, today I'm doing your September. How do they really feel about your reading? Okay, so let's see what we got here for you guys. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages. For my Virgos that are watching, please give us clear messages for Virgo. What messages do my Virgos that are watching this need to hear? Please give us clear messages. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here, Virgos. It's going to be a quick three card spread okay and i'm going to be pulling an oracle card at the end the music oracle let's see what we got the bottom of the deck is the knight of swords and the devil okay interesting um i think aquarius got this exact same thing at the bottom of their deck uh when i did their their person reading that's interesting all right so let's see what we got here for you guys the devil energy is Capricorn, so you could be dealing with the Capricorn, okay? You don't have to be, though. Um, but I feel, you know, I, I feel the same kind of sense of, like, you running away, running quickly away from some devil energy that's been uh, surrounding you, okay? Devil energy is about... Um, you know, maybe bad habits, things that are unhealthy for us, you know, being tied to certain people that are unhealthy for us, you know, obsessions maybe even. So I kind of see you moving away from that and kind of moving towards something new in a new direction. Okay, let's see what else we got here. What they're thinking, what your person is thinking is the six of cups. Okay, so your person is thinking about the past, okay? Your person is thinking about the things that they have wanted with you in the past. Uh, your person is thinking about, you know, all the good times you guys shared together. Uh, they're wondering what you're doing. Um, they're contemplating whether you would give them a second chance if they came around again. Um, they're wondering if, you know, you are involved with someone else, if you've forgotten about them. Um, let's see what else we got here. How they feel deep down is the Eight of Swords, okay? Um, the Eight of Swords about, is about feeling anxious in some way or, you know, kind of caught up in their, in their head and feeling like there's no way out. Um, so perhaps your person, you know, it's possible your person did some things to you, okay? It's possible that now there's some sort of regret um, associated with the fact that they did something and that they see no way out of it. Like deep down, they feel like they kind of have to live in this, you know, reality that they created for themselves and they really don't see a way out of it, okay? Um, they are thinking about the past though, and they're thinking about you, but they're, they're in, in how they feel deep down, they feel, they feel trapped. Okay. Um, they feel like there's no way out of, you know, kind of like these dark emotions that they have, or these dark thoughts that they have, um, just a sense of regret too. Like there's no way out for them from this sense of regret that they have, Maybe perhaps around something that they did. And what do they want to say is the King of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. So they want to come and they want to express themselves in a very uh, elegant, sort of very mature sort of way. Okay. They want to come and express, you know, uh, not only their feelings, but I'm kind of feeling like they want to give you an apology, okay? Um, I think because this feels very mature energy right here. Uh, very mature, very um, 
well thought out, something that they've really been contemplating for a while, okay? Um, you know, they're not sure how you're going to react to them coming forward and expressing themselves to you. They're not sure if you're going to accept this apology that they're bringing you, okay? Um, but they do want to do it in a very sincere, in a very eloquent, and in a very, um, you know, even passionate way, in, in a way that's very thoughtful, though, and not... Um, not like hurried or brisk, like they're really going to take their time. They're going to try to find a time that's appropriate for you and them to kind of come together because they know that they did some things that not only caused you pain, but that they are also regretting and that they kind of want some release from, okay? Um, they want this release from the bad thoughts um, that, you know, or the bad emotions that they created for you based on what they did. I don't really know what they did. You'll know that for yourself and it'll be different for each of you, but, um, they want some release from that and they want to come and express themselves to you, um, in a very, you know, mature way. Okay. I also get with the King of Cups energy that they might come in um, very focused, okay, on what they want to say, okay? Maybe even very limited as to what they will say, okay? Um, like you may w be wanting to bring out other things or talk about other things when they come around uh, to talk to you, but they're going to be very focused on just talking about perhaps their feelings and this apology and, you know, trying to ex explain themselves, uh, but in a very focused kind of way. I don't see them like really um, perhaps even addressing the things um, that are deeply troubling you. Okay, um, perhaps there's some like deep hurts that you want to address that you want them to clear up. I don't get the sense that they're going to do that. I feel like they're going to keep it very focused and they're going to keep it very kind of kind of tight in, in the perspective that they want to keep it in. Okay, um, but I'm also sensing like don't let that. Um, because you do want to talk about all these other things and you want them to express all these other things. Don't let the limitation of their focus, uh, kind of ruin the moment or not let you accept the apology that they have to offer. Okay. Even though it might be limited and focused and maybe not as open as you would like it to be, or not encompassing everything you would hope this apology would bring with it. Don't allow yourself to not accept that apology because of it. Okay. Be open to, to receiving this apology, be open to seeing it for what it's worth and you know, accept it as, as something sincere because it is very sincere and it is very mature and it's very honest, even though it might be limiting and not quite everything you would like it to be at this time. Okay, Virgo, that's what I have for you there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's see. We're going to grab a card for you guys now from the Music Oracle. Okay. I wonder if you guys are, if some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, please let me know because there are three cards on here that Aquarius also got in their uh, reading. Okay. You could also be dealing with a water sign because there's a lot of water here. Okay. Uh, so you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Not necessarily. Some swords on the table too. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign. That would be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And like I said, there's Capricorn on here too. 
All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for my Virgos. All right, we're going to go for it here. Let's see. All right, well, let's go with this. Huh? <laughs> Johnny Cash. Somebody else got this. Who got it? Let's see. Making the right enemies is as important as making the right friends. Heaven or hell, it's up to you. Oh, I know who got this. Pisces got this. Darkness is your friend. Let me read that to you again. Making the right enemies is as important as making the right friends. Heaven or hell, it's up to you. Darkness is your friend. With the heaven or hell message, I'm kind of being drawn to this King of Cups, okay? Like when this apology comes in, because I'm getting stronger and stronger, it's apology and an expression of emotions that your, your person is going to be bringing here towards you. Um, it's really going to be up to you how you interpret this, if you make it heaven or hell, okay? If you make this something that you accept and you value, or you make this just something that, um, you know, you don't see as appropriate or fit or good enough for what you were hoping to get from your person, okay? So it's up to you how you're going to take this apology and this expression of emotions. Um, but what I do see here is that they're being sincere, okay, uh, to a certain extent, okay? Even though they are going to be a little bit withholding of information and a little bit narrow in their focus, um, I do see, again, this element of maturity and elegance in terms of how they come forward. They're probably really going to dress up, too, to come and see you, okay? They're probably going to be looking good, too, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, they're going to be looking very sophisticated. You're kind of going to be seeing them in, like, this, like, different sort of light because of the way they look. Um, but... They are making an effort here, okay? They're making an effort to come forward and do the best that they can, um, even if that to you might not seem like enough. Okay, Virgo. Um, happy birthday again, Virgo. I hope you guys are enjoying your, your season. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. I am doing a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, drop me a comment that says 3K and um, subscribe to my channel and that will automatically enter you. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.